In this video, I want to have a look at factorising a quadratic trinomial. So what's a quadratic trinomial to start off with? A quadratic is a term, isn't, sorry, an algebraic expression where the highest power is a 2, so it's got a squared term in there. And a trinomial is an expression that has three terms. So a quadratic trinomial has three terms and has the highest power being 2. So first let's look at factorising monic quadratics. So let's have a look at our first example. So we've got x squared uh, minus 13x plus 36. So there are a lot of different methods for factorising monic quadratics. Um, I'm just going to show you one today. It's the one that tends to be the most popular, I think. Uh, but if you know another method that you learnt last year, you're welcome to use that. So we're going to use what's called the PSF method. So we're going to look at our um, quadratic product. So we need two numbers that have a product of 36, the positive 36. We need two numbers that have a sum of minus 13. So we're trying to find the factors of 36 that have a sum of negative 13. So if you start going through your factors in your head. You can try a couple of different ones, but you should end up with 9 and 4. But because we need that to be negative, we're going to have to be minus 9 and minus 4. So minus 9 times minus 4 will give 36, and minus 9 plus minus 4 will give us minus 13. So that means our quadratic is going to factorise to x minus 9, x minus 4. So let's have a look at a second example. So in this one we've got a squared plus 12a minus 28. So again, we need PSF. Our product is going to be this constant term on the end, so minus 28. Our sum is going to be the coefficient of this middle term, so it's going to be positive 12. And then we need to find two numbers that satisfy that. Um, so I think that's going to be 14 and 2, but it's going to have to be um, positive 14 and negative 2. So that'll give us a minus 28 and positive 12. So that'll factorise then to give us a um, plus 14 and a minus 2. Right, let's have a look at another example of monic quadratics. So our last example is t squared minus 4t plus 4. So again, p, s, f. Our product will have to be positive 4. Our sum will be negative 4. And our factors then that make that true would be minus 2, minus 2. So they multiply to give positive 4 and they add to give minus 4. So that means it factorises to give t minus 2, t minus 2. Because our brackets are both the same though, we can simplify that and write it as t minus 2 squared. Let's have a look now at some examples of non-monic quadratics. So that's when the coefficient of the squared term is not a 1. So for example, we might have 2x squared plus 11x plus 12. So in a monic quadratic, this squared term has a coefficient of 1. In non-monics, there's some other number there. So we're still going to use our PSF method, but it's going to be a little bit different with a non-monic quadratic. So instead of our product just being this term that's on its own, it's going to be that term multiplied by the coefficient of the squared term. So in this one, it would be positive 24. The sum is still going to be the same with that middle term, which will be positive 11. So we need two numbers that multiply to give 24 and add to give 11. So for us, that would be um, positive 3 and positive 8. So what we do now, there's an extra step in there. We're going to split this 11x into a 3x and an 8x. So we're going to have 2x squared plus 3x plus 8x plus 12. So we've kept um, our equation, or our, sorry, our expression equivalent, but we've split that middle term. And now we're going to factorise by grouping. So looking at these first two terms, our common factor is x, and we'll be left with 2x plus 3. And our second two terms, our common factor is 4, and we'll be left with 2x plus 3. So then we're going to Pull out those brackets as the common factor. So we'll have 2x plus 3 outside of x plus.
plus four. So there's a few more steps in there when they're non-monic. Let's have a look at a second example. I'm going to have 3x squared plus 4x minus 7. So PSF, our product is going to be the mul um, yeah, we're going to multiply the 3 and the minus 7 to give us minus 21. The sum is going to be that positive 4. So we need two numbers that multiply to give minus 21 and add to give 4. And you can go through all the different factors of 21 in your head and figure out where your positives and your negatives have to go. But you should end up with minus 3 and 7. So multiplying them gives negative 21 and adding them gives positive 4. So that should be a plus 7. So again, we're going to split this 4x into a minus 3x and a plus 7x. So we're going to have 3x squared minus 3x plus 7x minus 7. And now we're going to factorise by grouping. So these first two terms have 3x in common. So it'll be 3x outside of x minus 1. And these two terms have a 7 in common. So it'll be 7 outside of x minus 1. And then we're going to pull out that whole bracket as our common factor. So we'll have x minus 1 outside of 3x plus 7. So those are a few examples of how to factorise both monic and non-monic quadratic trinomials.